guys, I need... No! No! Oh no! No, no! Oh! Hey guys, it's your girl Adjola Patron, aka Adi the Buddy, aka you know the vibes already. And in this series, me and my friends are being set up. We don't know what we're doing, but we're gonna make sure we look our best. No matter what they throw at us, we're gonna tackle it together. The good, the bad, the ugly. Let's find out if we're ready or not. Why are we here? I don't know. No. <laughs> but it's gonna be fun. It's like, gonna, I'm just down for whatever, man. That's why I like you, because I feel like you're always down for a good time. Yeah, man. And you're adventurous. The thing is, I don't trust these guys. I know they're about to set me up today. Yeah. I got a text! Galloping hooves, thunder. Okay. Excitement, embrace. Wild spirits, ignite in the countryside place. The galloping hoops gives me horse. If we have anything to do with horses, I'm gonna kill all of you. <laughs> oh my gosh, what do they call them festival things where they wear the hats and stuff and the nice dresses? Um, Ascot, Ooh, the one that they go yes, to. Yes, yes, it could yeah. be that kind of vibes. And they serve looks. So victory sets pace. And what is the pace? A race. race. Yeah, we just gotta make sure we're wearing the right thing for the occasion, really and truly. Cool. Yeah. May the best look win. And there she is, Royal! So pretty, right? What did I do to deserve you? Oh my god! You look good! And I love how you folded the shirt over right? the blazer. Yeah. Do you know what, Victor? What? Even though we don't know what we're doing. Right. As long as we look good. Yes. And we feel good. Yes. It's all that matters. It's all that matters. And on that note, let me finish my makeup, please. Okay. Thank you very much. Yeah. Because I've got to look good, right? Still a lot to be done. Yeah. Are we ready? Are we ready? Or not? Or not. Let's find out. Let's find out. I swear if they've set us up. No, honestly, I'll actually kill every single one of them <laughs> with my bare hands. I'm still heavily questioning what we're about to go and do. Because... Same. I'm getting ready to pull it out of me. I'm actually tired. So like, like, I just want to relax and chill. Should we nap? My heels are already hurting my feet. Really? Yes. Don't carry you. You might have to. I might have to. Then. All of a sudden, I don't see a single house in sight. There's nothing here. Just do a little top up, you never know who you might see or bump into. Okay, moment of truth. Oh, we need to get out. I don't think this is the Ascot. Uh, yeah, this isn't. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome to our vegan centre. What the f Sorry, but look at that. It's Please. a pig. <gasps> oh my gosh, that's not a pig though. Babe, that is a pig. No, but honestly, is that actually a pig? So let's run along, because I actually want to know what we're going to be doing here. <laughs> oh, this is a hazard! Who is it that we're actually here to see? Let's, come on, I think we should go this way. Come on. Hi. Hi, what's your name? So I'm Billy, I'm the founder of the Retreat Animal Rescue. It's home to about 1,500 animals. So we've got horses, cattle, sheep, pigs. <coughs> Hopefully you're going to do a few chores with them today. Oh, you're talking to us? Yes. So the first chore today is going to be with the pigs. <laughs> with the pigs? Uh, about 90 pigs, in fact. Okay, 90. So, but we're going to change your boots, if that's all right. Hi! Oh, I uh, thought these were farm friendly, Billy. They're very smart, yeah. but I think you want something slightly more practical. When they turned up, I thought they had the wrong location. I thought, no one dresses like that to come to an animal sanctuary. So I've just got here and they've told me we're going to be cleaning these pigs. They are very nice animals, apparently, but um, I will be cleaning. What's the f***? What's the f***? There's one right behind you. Are you OK? So that's what we call pig poo there, right there. Team had had this done in between three and five minutes. 
Oh my days, guys. So literally, yeah, they just had me picking up bare. Nah. I want to do it like I'm in a music video. Like I want to look sexy. This is not going to make any man like you anymore. No, it will. Wow, she added a little twerk to it as well. Ooh. We need to go a little bit faster because this is taking a bit longer than normal. I'll help you. Come on. I've got to really like get in there. Uh, that's a big thing, dude. This is some ripe shit. Brilliant. Oh, how are you getting the whole bitch. school? <laughs> and cute uniforms, right? <laughs> and me, what do I get? I get to be in shit. Picking it up with the pigs. Victor! So, see, we didn't lose much. <gasps> well done, well done. You can, you can break now. <gasps> but we're gonna do their bedroom now. Am I gonna get f up by a pig? Not by Russell. Hey, <laughs> Oh my god! Oh my god! What we do. Is we bank up, we bank up the bed like this to make what we call banks around the outside. Oh, okay. No, I need to get out of here right now. Please, no, I want to get out. Please. Okay, that was absolutely fine. Can't lie, I was actually kind of scared, but as long as you look good, I'll feel good, right? Maybe, maybe not retreat volunteers at the moment, but you know, give a bit of time and a bit of training. I think they can get there. So I feel like you guys did all right, but we need to fasten up and get a few more chores done. So follow, follow me. Right. We need shovels. Okay, so a wallow is a hole in the ground that we fill with water. And it's crucial for, for our piggies because actually it works as sunscreen and as an anti-parasite treatment. So this is good for my skin? Yeah, I mean, people have mud baths and stuff. True. So it's all got to come out so we can fill it with water. clean water. It doesn't smell pleasant, um, but the pigs seem like cool people. I'm ready, let's scoop up some <laughs> Adiola, you're not doing anything and we don't have time. I feel like it is showing me that I do really like being indoors. Outside is not that bad, but I like to be inside. See, look at that. Go on, man. See? It's heavy. Uh, oh, that was a good one. That was a good one. Okay, watch this. No! I really wanted to do well and prove myself, so I thought, let me get stuck in. And I got stuck in literally, like my boots actually got stuck. And guys, it was so heavy, it was weighing me down. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and then I got stuck in again. <laughs> Can I push you? Ah, no! Oh. Oh, no! 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 Hey! Oh! Um, she's actually completely covered in mud, and I just remain looking completely unscathed, except for this bit of mud on my hand. Sorry. <laughs> I don't want to live on a farm. Can I say that? You don't have showers here, Billy. Okay, so this is like a bit of an epic fail, isn't it? Maybe we could push her a little bit harder, so follow me. Yeah, so with the wallowing, I think we would have fired them. <laughs> this is Eeyore and this is Joey. Hi, and Joey, baby. Joey. Hi, Joey, baby. So today you're going to be the donkey barbers, so you're okay. going to give them a, a great makeover. It's going to be like a spa day. So I'm going to leave you to get on with it, and then I'm going to come back and see how well you did. So you're okay. just going to leave us? Yeah. And I don't trust him. I'm ready to show Billy what I've got with the next tour. I am going to be his best glamorous volunteer. Okay, Eo, I'm going to introduce myself. I'm Adiola Petrain. I'm just here to just make you look good. Oh, so cute. Oh, David, no. <laughs> You're so. Victor looked there I don't nice. Want to go near the, oh. donkey. the donkey, I could barely even go near it. Wow. 
I was actually, I was genuinely really scared because I'm I'm actually just scared of getting hit by that back foot. Wow, see, yeah. the these were my girls. Like, I was brushing her, yeah. we got along. You should FaceTime them I tomorrow. will later like, to see how they're doing. Oh, Chevy. I feel like I'm getting in my farmer bag. Are you gonna do your, your donkey? No, I'm actually not, you know. Oh, he's mad at you. <laughs> Guys, what is this doing here? Get it away from me. What the fuck? Guys, we got rushed by a herd of sheep. So I think they was feeling a bit left out or whatever, but it just shook me up. And I was like, nah, 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 you lot have to get me out of here. <laughs> Victor, I don't think they like you because why are they all coming over to you? Who brought the cow? But you've got nothing to worry about. Okay, thank you, Billy, so much. Adiola, this is a 10 out of 10. Thank you. Wow, this is a 10 out of 10, definitely. Well done, and Joey really appreciates it. It's okay. Sadly, Victor, this is not what we would expect, but okay. uh, you came in with lots of confidence, so we're gonna give you a three out of oh, 10. Thank you. The, the outcome is pretty poor with it, with it all, but actually the energy and the effort has is, is, is been amazing. <laughs> So your final task is uh, moving sheep from one field to the other. How many? 80 to 100. <gasps> and then we're gonna see who can move the most sheep out of the two of you. I mean, I'm down for a competition. Let's move some sheep. I thought it was dogs that hurt the sheep. So I don't really know why I'm hurting the sheep because I thought it was a dog's job. I feel like it can't actually be that hard, but I feel like Adiola will find it quite difficult. So we're going to be moving the sheep from this field to their evening paddock, which is in the meadow over there. Okay. Who's going first? Come on, Victor. Let's let's do Good it. Good luck. So why'd you move them to the evening meadow? Do they serve like cocktails over there or something? Okay, Victor, you got five minutes. What? 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 Come round and clap your hands. Brilliant. Brilliant. There's no way. Yes! I love you all! Look, I reckon you're gonna get every sheep through the gate. Me too. He has got animal magnetism. This is amazing. Do you want a job? Animal magnetism is, is you know, is, is a skill that, you know, woke up in my heart today. Adiola, did you feel it? <laughs> yeah! Come on, let's have it! Yeah! I don't know how he's done that. I feel like he's actually cheated. I feel like they actually want him to be freed anyway, because he actually didn't do nothing. Animal magnetism! <laughs> Fantastic. Adiola, <laughs> your turn. Okay, shall I go? Yeah, go. Go on. Woo! Sheep! With the sheep, when I had to herd them, I just got right into it, because I was like, you know what, I've been on here all day. I basically know them. Woo! Sheep! Sheep! Hello! Hey, Come on! Come on! At least if I get one. Come on! You can do it, you've got three more minutes. Do they want me to die? Come on, sheep, you sheep! Good girl! Please, guys, hello! Come on! I'm done with them. Go, Go on, Ronnie. You naughty. So you were faultless in, in, in moving the sheep. So if there was like an A and an A star, yeah, you're gonna have to have the A star because you did do the task. If the task was to walk around looking like a crazy woman, she would have gotten the A star. You had no vim. I had action, direction and um, a plan. You had nothing. Yeah. So why aren't the sheep over there? They both worked incredibly hard and uh, actually achieved far more than I would have thought at the beginning. Should we do it together? No, go get them Let's now. do it together. Yeah. Okay then. <laughs> <laughs> When I first came here, when I saw the ducks and the sheeps and the pigs, first of all, I was like, oh my God, there's no way. I'm not touching one of them. I'm not getting close to one of them. Just keep them over there and I'll stay over here. But then as the days went on, I was, I was herding a sheep and I was 
picking up well, the trying, pig. Well, trying to herd the sheep. Okay, first Sorry, of that's... all, I think the sticky situation was the pigs. It just wasn't the most pleasant and I literally got stuck. I think the most beautiful part of it all was that I'd done all of this whilst looking good. Get you a girl that can do both soft life, hard life. Yeah. <laughs> I can do it all and get stuck in the process. I feel like whether we pulled up to a farm or whether we pulled up to dinner at the Shard, we were definitely ready because it's looking good that also matters. Because when you look good, you feel good, and then you end up doing good anyway, whether you actually herded all the sheep or not. This is going to test our competitive side. I want to be the last man standing.